Good evening. We begin with a San Diego businessman with very close ties to Idaho under the White House microscope tonight after allegations that he may have been part of a federal pay to play scheme. Doug Manchester is the founder of Manchester Financial Group, which previously owned the Whitetail Club and Shore Lodge in McCall. The McCall Ice Rink also named for him after he donated a portion of the funds to build it. Now allegations of illegal activity have put a stop to his possible U.S. ambassadorship to the Bahamas, where he owns a vacation home. Our Misty England has been looking into those allegations and joins us tonight with more details. Misty? Well, not only are there Idaho ties because of Manchester's connections to McCall, but there's also another connection. Idaho Senator Jim Risch was one of the people who brought the possible scheme to the White House's attention. Hurricane Dorian struck the Bahamas hard in September. Afterwards, San Diego businessman and former Idaho businessman Doug Manchester took a trip there right after to help with relief efforts. Whatever you've seen before on the media uh, does not do it justice. At the time, Manchester was in the running to be the U.S. ambassador to the Bahamas. He had been nominated by President Trump every year since 2017, but that nomination has remained stalled in the Senate until now. The White House has formally withdrawn the ambassadorship after allegations Manchester may be involved in a pay to play scheme. That possible scheme was brought to light by an email which Idaho Senator Jim Risch received. They asked me to confirm whether I got the email in question. I did confirm that I got the email in question. That email was sent from the Republican National Committee to Manchester. And so there was an email chain and the chain was copied to my chief of staff who brought it to me. In the email, the RNC asked Manchester for half a million dollar contribution, to which Rish confirmed Manchester sent this response. Quote, as you know, I am not supposed to do any, but my wife is sending a contribution for $100,000. Assuming I get voted out of the Foreign Relations Committee on Wednesday, to the floor we need you to have the majority leader bring it to a majority vote. Once confirmed, our family will respond. End quote. I think it's pretty straightforward as to the kind of issues that are raised there. To me, this was a straightforward protocol that when you see something like this, it should go to the lawyers for analysis and then the lawyers can handle it from there. Now, I did reach out to Manchester for comment today, but have not heard back. However, he did tell CBS that the email is not what it looks like and that his wife donated out of a separate fund. He also told the San Diego Tribune in a separate interview that the we will respond comment doesn't mean that he actually agreed to do anything. Back to you. All right, it'll be interesting to cover this story and follow this in the coming weeks. Misty, thank you.